I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday January the 23rd and if you guys haven't been paying attention this cow deal is changing I'm talking about the price on slaughter cows been real crappy here for the last several months and and guys almost just hated to take them to town we had that big sell-off uh, from from up in the Midwest there uh, the northern plains where all that flooding took place a lot of those guys didn't sell those cows right away they went ahead and turned them out on grass because they had a lot of it and they wanted to put some weight on those cows because they were pulled down so bad because of the harsh weather but uh, then they started selling them on down through the uh, the summer months and uh, trying to hit that high market uh, around 4th of July and then that continued on through the fall and just uh, big numbers of cows uh, now we've seen most everybody, uh, the, the spring calving guys, have brought their cows in, they've preg checked them, they've culled their cows, they've, they've sold off what they didn't want, and, uh, and now we're all of a sudden, we're kind of light on cows. And you'd think, well, they bought a lot of those cows and put them on feed, uh, you know, the, the cow packers did, and, and guys that trade around and, and do that kind of thing. Why haven't they started pulling those? Well, it's, that's a good question. But uh, these plants are short of cows. And, uh, and they're not seeing as many of the dairy cows. The, the milk's up pretty good. And uh, some of these dairies, you know, they're usually whining, bitching and moaning because they're not getting paid enough for their milk. They're actually making a little bit of money right now. And, uh, and the government's not having to kick in to, to, to keep them going. But uh, as they're making money on that milk, they're not going to give those cows up unless they're really poor. I mean, they'll duct tape their, duct tape their feet together if they have to. Uh, to keep them going but I tell you what uh, we're not seeing as many of the dairy cows coming to town we're through uh, after we culled really deep uh, through some a lot of those open cows that uh, after they preg checked our calf crop is lighter because uh, a lot of those cows lost calves and, and uh, the calves got sick in, in the bad spring in the winter last winter and it's just really uh, taking a toll on the numbers of slaughter cows out there. Replacement uh, cow prices are up pretty good. People are starting to see a little window in here where maybe they can make some money and take advantage of the lighter supplies even before they get here. And so you're having some guys pay attention to that and they're coming in there and buying some of these old cows that are bred and, and taking them away from the packers. But I tell you what, these packers have gotten real aggressive this week. Uh, turning up the, the orders on these cows and uh, you look around OKC West and El Reno on Monday two to eight dollars higher on slaughter cows Oklahoma City four bucks higher straight up on your cows and bulls eight dollars higher now maybe they are bringing some of those fat cows out of the feedlots that they put in there whenever the numbers were big and the prices were down and, uh, and those cows have got quite a bit of fat on them and they can kind of blend that fat but they need some of those lean bulls which are basically all lean meat uh, to throw in that hopper for the grinding and get that uh, percent lean back where they can sell it but eight dollars higher on bulls when's the last time you remember that Joplin Regional Stockyards three to four higher on the fleshier cows lean cows seven to ten bucks higher so look around a little bit guys if you've got some cows and you need some salvage value and looking for some money uh, the market's hot right now on slaughter cows I don't know how it'll be next week but uh, so far this week and we're only at the middle of it uh, they've been really hot had rain in the wheat country uh, earlier this week uh, Tuesday night and uh, it was a it was a big time money making rain out there because you're your wheat pasture will be much better for graze out now because it went all across the panhandle maybe even up into the Oklahoma panhandle and across western Oklahoma and uh, it'll be a gangbuster for for grazing on these lighter cattle uh, going from your traditional grazing period which is is the first to middle of March on through uh, you know when that, that wheat gets too tough and the beards get if it's not beardless uh, get too tough to eat but uh, uh, that that offers some awful cheap weight gain right there and, and that's always a good thing let's look at the board on wednesday february live cattle futures down 20 cents at 126.17 april was down 45 at 126.77 january feeder cattle down a buck 15 at 143.92 and march down a buck 62 at 143.05 
we had fat cattle trade and I'm not sure why you know the fat board wasn't down that much 20 cents on the nearby less than half a dollar as you go out front a little ways but uh, evidently guys were nervous so had a little trade on the fed cattle exchange on Wednesday morning uh, one pen 112 head of, uh, of slaughter cattle sold it at 124 but you know they were on the lighter side 1200 pounds you know they might put those back on feed who knows but uh, Kansas went ahead and traded a lot of cattle at 124 and I was talking to a friend of mine there in Oklahoma Gary Reed and he said why why we keep caving at 124 we should still be on the upswing here we've, we've got them right where we want them Evidently, that's all they want for them is 124. We've traded for 124 all year so far, and uh, and I guess the guys are happy with that. They don't want any extra money, but giving in on a Wednesday at 124 steady money when we'd already had steady uh, dress bids in the Northern Plains that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But Iowa confirmed sales had about 400 head at 198. Uh, on Wednesday, Nebraska about 1,300 head at 124 and a couple loads at 199 dressed and that would be steady there. But uh, confirmed sales out of Kansas and, and they started that right before they had to turn those in so it'll be a lot more but 16,200 head confirmed at 124 steady money in Kansas and Texas printed again. I tell you what, got some activity in Texas, 3,700 head on Wednesday at 124 in Texas. Box beef cutout values, uh, I guess maybe the choice select spread had narrowed all the way to, to all it was going to do, just over a dollar, and now it's spreading back out a little bit, but choice cuts on Wednesday afternoon, 214.96 up 45 cents, selects down 145 at 212.02, making that choice select spread about $2.94. Uh, don't forget the Western video uh, market on Thursday here, they're out at Red Bluff, uh, those guys that aren't drunk, they're going to be all business and, and getting ready to sell uh, a lot of those good wean calves that they got way out west there. But that Red Bluff is a party, guys. But they're having a big time out there. A lot of replacement stock on there. I told you about a couple of deals uh, on our earlier visit, the last visit we had. But Western Video Market's got a sale. You can watch it on dvauction.com on Thursday. And, uh, and you can also watch the Red Bluff uh, gelding and bull sale and they'll have stock dogs on there on Friday and Saturday and that's just fun to watch because there's a lot of activity going out there and just a lot of cowboy people rushing to Red Bluff California to take part in that event but let's talk about uh, your markets for Wednesday your real-time index on DB auction 144.82 down 92 cents uh, after Wednesday's sales and, and the market was cheaper around and just not a lot of drive on these feeder type cattle for the same reason that we've had all year long pretty much except for the first few days of the new year and that's the limited pen space that we have out there just chock plum full of calves and, uh, and not a place to put them but uh, you know if the guys still want to buy these cattle uh, a lot of these cattle will hedge and, uh, and they go after them whenever they have a place to put them, but uh, the, the vacancy in our feedlots is pretty low. Look at your big sales, OKC West, El Reno, Oklahoma, 8,300 head. They had about the same amount of calves on Tuesday as they had of feeders on Wednesday, which a lot of those would, would be calves anyway, but some yearlings in the mix, I'm sure. But feeder steers on Wednesday, three to five bucks lower. Feeder heifers one to three dollars lower. If you remember on Tuesday, the calves were mostly steady. About the hottest sale anywhere on Wednesday, and they had a sale in Bassett, but about the hottest sale they had anywhere on Wednesday was at Winter Livestock Auction in Dodge City, Kansas. And no, they weren't having an auctioneer contest or anything, just a good sale there. And Dodge City had 3,100 head there. The feeder steers were two to three bucks lower. That's kind of the way it is. Feeder heifers one to two dollars higher, and now I think we've fully got that uh, steer heifer uh, discount kind of back to right where it needs to be because it kind of got out of whack when we just had the uh, farmer feeders from the Northern Plains pushing on on steers, and and they kind of leave the heifers alone, and the steers had went off and left the heifers, but. Uh, we've kind of gotten that uh, spread back to kind of a normal pace now and yeah it's probably eight to ten bucks for the most part but still that's about where it normally is but look at a couple of individual quotes out of Dodge City 
65 head of 469 pound lightweight steers bring two dollars a pound that's impressive I tell you what in the desert there 56 head of 849 pound steers or just say eight and a half 151.75 we can't hardly get 150 for a flat eight weight steer anymore and Dodge City's getting nearly 52 on some way in eight and a half uh, another place that uh, had some uh, individual quotes that I want to talk about Springfield Livestock Marketing Center in Springfield Missouri DV auction customer there got a lot of good friends there those are the god of the guys that are left over from the old Southwest Regional Stockyards and Springfield was always known back in the old days as the Holstein steer capital of the world of course they don't raise as many heifers in that South Missouri country now as they used to but still get a fair amount of Holstein steers and they still feature them every week at Springfield sell them at the same time so guys know when to, to when to be there and get up at the edge of their seat but uh, kind of give you an idea of what some Holstein steers are costing of course they're less efficient to feed you and hard to get rid of when you get them fat but 54 head of 700 pound Holstein steers in Springfield Missouri bring 88 bucks how about Huss Livestock Market in Kearney, Nebraska? 57 head of 521 pound steers bring $199. That's as high as you see them anywhere in the world. But Bassett, Nebraska had a sale up on the Yellow Brick Road there on Wednesday. Uh, close to 4,000 head there. Awful good sale. Uh, but you think that the, you know, I talk about Bassett all the time and how wild and crazy it is. You think Bassett can't be cheaper? What goes up must come down. They had a whale of a sale last time, and this year, this week the steers four to nine bucks lower, and they just got to be because if not, they'd be bringing five dollars a pound. Heifers about steady. Uh, look at a, a string of replacement heifers, replacement quality sorted up heifers. There, sixty-two of them weighed six hundred and forty pounds and one hundred and sixty-seven dollars for replacement quality heifers, and they'd have been the real, real deal. Uh, look at this automated report out of Bassett there uh, off a of DV auction and I'll give you some ideas there kind of what the, the bulk of your cattle were bringing in your popular weights 559 head of five weight steers average 555 at 17516 on the average of all the five weight steers 1193 head of six weight heifers averaging 644 at 16389 now you can tell that they are keeping some heifers back there and then that's the Sand Hill country and a lot of them are going to other places trying to get their uh, quality to imitate the, the Sand Hill cattle but 457 head of the five weight heifers average 566 at $155 even and then 546 head of six weight heifers average 637 15121 and the top steer quote that I saw out of Bassett, Nebraska, 79 head, 620 pound steers bring 169.50. And that's your feeder flash for Thursday.